Hello and welcome to our first episode of Hot Gay News. Behind you we've got the debate on. First topic on Hot Gay News is that gay people are voting for Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. And if you're gay and voting for Republicans, what are you doing? You're weird for that. Updates from Janie. Um, what's new with Alex Morgan? She retired. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Jax is correct. Why did she retire? I don't actually know. Why? I, I didn't look into it. Oh, I saw that she retired. I went, no. Isn't she pregnant? I'm sure she is. Um, she didn't get called up to the for the Olympic roster, so a lot of people were already speculating whether she was gonna retire soon. And look at that, she did. She did. Who would have thought? Last game was just this week, I think. She only played 13 minutes, got subbed out. Minute 13. Crazy, but. What's the significance of that? It's her jersey number. Oh, Swifty? They're, they're acquaintances. Okay. Yeah. Love that for her. So how long have you been watching Alex Morgan? As long as I've been watching like women's football, which has been like, I don't know, like maybe eight years now. Mm. So definitely an end of an era. So how long have you had a crush on Alex Morgan? I actually don't. She's not my type. Oh, okay. I do have a crush on Kristen Presto, and she just came back to the NWSL, so. Okay, but that's very slight for me. I don't know if I can remember who she is. Um, the one I showed you with um, her she partner, who also plays. Yes. Yeah. Yes. One of them is retired. One of them is not no. injured. The one who was injured just started playing again. That's the girlfriend is very excited. No, that's Kristen Press. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What's her partner's name? Tobin. Oh, that's right. Yes, he did show me them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's out, that's other exciting things. I think she's only on her like third game back or something. That's pretty sick. So it's very fun. She's playing like very small amounts, but um, she's playing after like almost two years in recovery for mm-hmm. an ACL tear. I could be wrong. I could probably be wrong. But something with her legs. Okay. But yeah, she's back. Very cool. Alex Morgan is going. End of an era. End of an era. Mm hmm. Kind of sad I didn't get to play to see her play. They were coming in, in October in Austin to play. I was gonna get tickets to go see them, but it's just it's, it's not gonna work out. But that's okay. When is it? October twenty first. Twenty first or seventeenth? I don't know. But we're gonna we were already busy on that day. Oh. Okay. So that's why we were like, ah, there's no point in even buying tickets because we weren't gonna be available though. Yeah. No, that sucks. But yeah. Very cool. Speaking of Taylor Swift, which I know we weren't, but we were for a moment. Um, hot gay news, gaylers everywhere are pissed, me included, for the embrace of Britney Mahomes. And the betrayal heard around the world. The betrayal heard around the world. The opposite of the hug heard around the world. <laughs> we'll get back to that other Taylor Swift also gay reference later. That's but actually so funny. Eras tour related, if you know, you know. You probably do if you're watching this. So, there's a cat hair in my teeth. Oh my god. That's good. It's kind of nice. Good. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, no. Taylor Swift supporting, loving, loving and supporting a MAGA girly, a Trump supporting woman is really embarrassing. It really it's is. It's really embarrassing. After Miss Americana... As two bisexual Swifties, I feel like it's such a personal attack. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like a call to not stream anything right. ever again. I mean, first of all, did we ever really listen to all 31 songs of that nonsense? Girl, no. no. I know maybe like four songs off of that album, and that's enough. And only and it's only the ones with features. Why? Because I love Post Malone and Florence and the Machine. This is true. I did enjoy But Daddy I Love Her because it felt very gay. And also, I'm gonna get you back. I thought it was Daddy I Love Him. It is, but I made it gay. You're right. <laughs> the, the lesbians were making t shirts that were But Daddy I Love Her. That's and funny. I was like, I might buy one. But again, I don't like supporting Miss Swift, even if it is indirectly. So I have a hard time giving her my money. Um, am I a fan? Yes. Am I also a hater? Yes. There's duality to this, Correct. it is nuanced. So much to say about Taylor Swift. Um, but it's really embarrassing. And also, um, did you see that she was at some 
somebody's wedding the other day with her stupid ugly man and Carly Claus she's went stupid. alone and not only did she go alone she but she wore she was wearing maroon she was wearing, she was wearing that's all maroon. I heard about that the thing is I don't really know about like I'm still not that much aware of like all the Kaler lore so like all I knew was that she wore maroon and people were freaking out I'm aware of the Kaler lore However, did you see that, like, the other day, um, Carly was wearing this, like, two-piece outfit that was, like, white and faded to brown, and tr no, I didn't see that too. Travis was wearing literally Troy. this- Troy! <laughs> <laughs> was literally wearing the same fucking outfit, and it's, like, an episode of Who Fucking Wore It Best. Oh Girl, God, that's nice. I love my girlfriend, that's my boy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no. Also, it's one of the lines, one of the lines in I'm Gonna Get You Back which is in lowercase. And also there's another song on the tortured, poet, the tortured Poets Department that says some line about, I keep these longings locked inside a way in the vault in lowercase, whatever. The point is that's the only song on this album in lowercase letters, and it's all lowercase letters, like always oh, one word, like I'm gonna get you back, right? And it's giving Carly, like that's what the song feels like it's about. And she goes, even if I'm at this event with some with a guy, I have I'll have a man. You'll have one too. I'm leaving here with you. Even if it's handcuffed, I'm leaving here with you. Okay. So I'm gonna get you back. Definitely feels like it was made for an event like that wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thoughts, comments. You look like you're contemplating. Um. Yeah, I didn't even know it was a wedding. I didn't know what circumstances were. I just saw the the photos circulating, and I was like, okay, yeah. something went down. Do I know what? No. But something. Something. Somehow, Alex Morgan and Taylor Swift. Hello? The cats are playing. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Lame. Alex Morgan and Taylor Swift are not gay, but this is <laughs> not gay news. <laughs> That's funny. JoJo, JoJo Siwa? What is it with you and JoJo Siwa? I'd just like to know what's going on. Um, oh. You don't think so. Shannon is still getting a good amount of backlash. Oh, they're over here. Water. They're both confused about what that was. I'm also confused. Did it go laundry or no? I don't think so. Can I sound like you're the neighbors? Yeah, it did. This is really loud. Yep. Weird. Very weird. Okay. Really quick. Shannon Beverage. Still getting a good amount of backlash for telling the internet to not use the term baby gay. The comments, there was a lot of discourse. The comments were kind of more so saying that baby gay refers to your amount of experience in the community, not how many relationships you've had. Um, thoughts? The amount of experience you had? In the community. Like, yeah. like, like basically saying you're a baby in the community rather than you're a baby in relationships. So how does she, like, I didn't get to watch the video. The, All I saw were the comments. I, I watch all of the podcasts because I'm a fan. But essentially what she was saying is like, can we not use this term baby gay? It feels like exclusive. And also it's not really fair to call Becca that when she's had a number of relationships. And like they still are valid relationships. Like she's bisexual. Like it doesn't make her a baby gay because I'm her first girlfriend. But... That's okay. kind of... I don't know. Yeah. Because, like, is she saying, like, Becky... I was going to say Becky. <laughs> is she saying that Becca's, like, previous relationships could be considered? No. That's not so what she's what saying. So what is she saying? She's basically just saying, like, hey, this person has had other real valid relationships, and they have relationship experience. That doesn't make them a baby. Like, just I don't, don't refer know. to this person as a baby in general, and, like, not necessarily, like, baby gay, but, like, that's why it came up. Like, please stop calling her baby gay is kind of, like, the vibe it gives. That's right. But I think um, she's upset because she has a tendency to date women who haven't dated women before, um, and everybody is seeing the trend, and I do think that some of it is coincidence, specifically in this instance, because Becca chased Shannon. Shannon did not chase Becca. I don't know, girl. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. Because to me, she would be a baby gay. Yeah. 
Like, I get what she was trying to say, but also, like, it still doesn't make sense what she was trying to say. I should just have you watch it later. I haven't seen it, so I can't really speak on this. All this I know is, fair. is that, fair. you know, all I know about... Can you want to call her Becky? About Becca is that she was with men before this, and that well, yeah. she thought, or, like, had previously, like, thought about girls or something like that. Not much. I don't know. It's, like, new... She's new to the community. She's new to experience it, so I would consider her baby gay. Just because she's new. Like, yes, her relations are, are valid. I'm not saying they're not, but that's just validating her, like, bisexual identity, not her actual experience as... Yeah, I feel you. I yeah. definitely feel like this is baby gay territory. As a person who I think... I feel like I almost even went through my baby gay phase before you. However, like, yes, you're my first girlfriend, but having had other queer experiences before you and also having openly identified as bisexual mm -hmm. since, like, 2019 and, like, we did our dating until 2023. Like, I definitely felt like by the time I got to meet you, I was not really, like, have I had a girlfriend? No. But that's kind of the only thing I was missing off of the checking boxes of queerness, yeah. necessarily, you know? So I was like, okay, I feel like... I'm not a baby gay anymore. I'm very much involved in paying attention to what's happening in the community, huh. identifying as a queer person. Whereas, like, Becca just kind of figured out she was queer in, like, December. That's soon. That's when they, like, oh. started. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. I didn't know who is that? Mm hmm. Okay. No, like, she, mm -hmm. she talks about it a lot on her podcast, and basically she'll say that, like, oh, I had made out with a girl one time in a bathroom stall, didn't really like it. I had, like, kissed girls in front of men before, but it always felt, like, performative and not like it was for me. Um, so she was like, all, like, those experiences I never really enjoyed, and it wasn't until I literally, like, met Shannon and saw her, and I was like, oh my god, I, I'm attracted to this girl. Like, that was her first time, like, meeting a woman that she was attracted to. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, no. It just gives, it definitely gives baby gay. Mm -hmm. That's what we're landing on this. Okay. It is what it is. But, yeah. Can't win them all. Sorry, Shannon. Love you. Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> oh, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell? He's not. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> where is he going? <laughs> no, he's, I think he's making a documentary mm. with one of his friends <gasps> who oh. ended up being a true who just came out as trans, and um, yeah, it actually seems really good, it seems like really um, heartfelt, considering it's Will Ferrell, and like his comedy, you know, he's funny, but he's like an old white man, so like how much can I expect from him, but then I saw that announcement, and apparently he's going to be road tripping with his friend, I believe her name is Harper, and then like road trip across like the USA while like kind of like deep diving into like her journey into like coming out and all that cute so that, pretty that nice. sounds really nice yeah i'm excited for will ferrell um mm -hmm. it's really, really and honestly to me my surprise i was like huh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it seems great it seems really fun kind of want to go see it um, we should go see it absolutely i would love to have you seen the sedona apology she Oh, I like seeing his at TikTok from M M Dog, Grace. Yes, yes. And she goes blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's like blah blah blah. I'm tall. Blah. blah. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I got the points from her video. So <laughs> yes, I have seen it. No, because Sedona literally admits to everything and takes no accountability and goes, yeah, I'm taking accountability. I'm changing. Where are the lies? Like, if you really listen to what she said, she's like, yeah, I did these things, but also I didn't do anything. It wasn't until, she oh goes, God. it wasn't until my parents, she goes, I wasn't going to speak on this until my parents started receiving a lot of death threats, and then I realized <laughs> I need to apologize. So, like, you're not actually sorry. She's not. You are she's just, just like. That she got caught. There no, it is. She can't get away with it, even though we already kind of knew about this. Yes, but it seems like the school is not doing anything, and she'll just be a ninth year what Girl. a decade later in college sports go fuck it how old is she too fucking old i don't I know like, I, I, I think she's she was like 26 and i've been postgrad for like a, a year almost two years now yeah i've been postgrad for three and she's somehow still in school yeah doing what i don't know i don't know not learning a damn thing i guess <laughs> um correct 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 
Eric from TikTok. Eric, oh, what the hell is his last name? Say Daniel? What the hell is It looks like that, but I, I'm just going off memory. I'm not sure if that's right. Him and his cute little puppy dog. He's a puppy dog who he wants to kill every week. Um, this week, he had a TikTok asking a lesbian if she was over Renee Rapp yet while he was in the car of the lesbian. And as a Renee Rapp stan, I'm offended, but I also get it because until the music drops, I'm kind of tired of the bit. We were just talking about this. I know. Thoughts? I... She is coming to ACL though, so I will have a change of tune in October. Right, I get okay. to see her. You've never seen her live. No, but isn't she only weekend one? No, she's full. Oh. Yeah, Kaylani and Fletcher were only weekend one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see Steven over here. Mm, I thought you watched her hop up. Hey, Steven. Huh? I thought you watched her hop up. I don't see her, so I don't know. But, um. Okay. Slay. Renee Rapp, are you over her? Were you ever I was into never her? into her. Yeah. And I, are you I not told into you. Blondes? What? Are you not into blondes? That's a great question. <laughs> a um, long pause. <laughs> Honey, I know you like other girls. I know you like... Wait, like, that's you like not other girls. <laughs> uh, I know you like other plenty of other people. I just have never heard you openly express interest in a blonde girl. Redheads? Okay. Brunettes? Okay. You're kind of right, huh? Katie Bridgers? You don't like her. You just like her music, huh? I like her music. You're not, you don't think Taylor Swift is hot? No. Oh, occasionally. 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 Sometimes there's a picture and I'm like, she's giving milk, and I could be into that. Correct. Other times, I'm like, I don't get it. But you like Anne Hathaway, who's also around the same age as Taylor Swift. But she's I know, a brunette. But she's giving milk in a brunette way. Yeah. Anne Hathaway's face is weird for me. That is simply incorrect. She's got a really fucking okay, big mouth. Okay, back to... And you like it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Hot gay news. <laughs> and Hathaway's mom. Uh huh, what's your name? Wait, what were you about? Renee Rapp. And Blondes. That's, I... that's how much you enjoyed thinking about Anne Hathaway. You forgot what you were talking about. <laughs> this is true. Guilty. Um, yeah, not the biggest fan of Blondes, I guess. Do you, I... Like, do you think Becca's attractive? Who? Becca, Shannon's girlfriend. Zolita? No. What about Cammy? I know you like Cammy. <gasps> I do love Cam- but I love but Cammy's can, personality. But Cammy also can pull off brunette, and like right. she's got like a blonde brunette thing happening. This is true, but she's also gorgeous. She's this so is gorgeous. Also true, Cammy, if you see this, love you, girl. Um, yeah, like <laughs> she's so true. Cammy's the only blonde I like. Yeah. I really love the blonde Haley Williams. <gasps> oh, you do like Haley Williams. But I am in love with Haley Williams. So because of the music? Because of the music. Because of the music. Yeah. Also, like, I don't love Haley Williams with the fiery orange hair. I think it looks ridiculous, but it, she's just really she's pretty. She's so cool. So she can pull it off. Like, she also has a very even skin tone, and oh, I think that true. that's really important when you're doing bold colors. This is true. Yeah, I can't really think of... Anyways, that isn't the reason why I'm not into Renee Rapp, though. I will not be dyeing my hair blonde anytime soon. For personal reasons. Funny enough, though, your hinge profile was you blonde. And he's looked right. And I swear. <laughs> <laughs> just making this connection now. I guess I just got it like that. Correct. Um, no, but I think what I was telling you last time, it was like, Renee Rapp gives theater kid pop. And so I does just Olivia can't. Rodrigo. And I also don't like her. It's giving, like, teen angst, but theater kid version. I get it, I get it. And it's just not my favorite. No, I can't blame you. Um, her voice is really good. She's really good. Great vocals, but I just can't get into the music. Right. And I've tried, because, like, you really like her. And you used to send me a few songs of her, and I would listen to them, but it's like, after, like, the second listen, I'd be like, okay. It doesn't have a lot of repeat value for you. No. 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 No, I get that. Um, yeah, so that's really the only reason I'm not into her. I'm just not a big fan of her style of music. But that doesn't, isn't against her personally. She has a great voice. It's just not my, not my favorite type of music to listen to. But I'm also not a huge fan of pop 
even though I listen to Sabrina Carpenter. I enjoy Sabrina Carpenter. But as a blonde. <laughs> it's not because she's a blonde. I know. I just want to know if you think she's cute. Yeah. Yeah. But I also. Oh, my God, I didn't know. But I also thought <laughs> this when I used to watch Girl Meets World. Because we're like the same age, so I used to have a crush on her when she was oh on TV. Oh my god. And that's the tea. But it goes back to me liking girls who look mean. Who can look like they would stomp on you. And her character in Girl Meets World was very much like... I still kind of feel like that's her flirty personality. Like she's definitely a flirty girl. But mm. it definitely gives like flirty but I'm gonna hurt you. I'm like, like, ew. Like almost like, ugh, like mean. Like, sassy, but mean. Mean, sassy, like, flirty. You know what right. I mean? Like, ugh, get away from me. Ew. But, like, also, it's like, hee hee. No, mm. yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's our first episode of Hot Gay News. And that's our first episode of Hot Gay News. Correct. Not a lot of news, but it's there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Next time. <laughs> When's next time, babe? Girl, I don't know. Next time something happens. <laughs> Next time we have something to report on, you'll hear from us first. Correct. On Hot Gay News. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to taste the rainbow.